Hi, this is Justin, Case Map Cloud Solution Specialist here in Canada. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of the product in about 10 minutes or less. But first, let's start with what is Case Map. Case Map is a tool that is intended to help you organize all of the materials in your case. Materials such as emails, contracts, letters, your transcripts, your examinations, your interviews, centralizing the people involved in the case, the organizations, organizing the media elements such as pictures, audio files, videos. You're building out a listing of the issues of the case, the things you're trying to prove disprove and argue. You've got your legal research that directly relates to these issues, helping you establish the position you're taking. Now, I've purposely skipped over facts because the saying in law is, find the key facts that are supported by that evidence. So as you review your evidence, which you're doing today, you're using case map to pull out those key notes, those key facts in the case that are directly supported by the evidence. As you create these facts, you're linking them to the issue they pertain to. You're connecting them to the person who said it or who it affects. And case map is a tool that is centralized around these important facts. So everything's kind of driven from facts. You can rank your facts as strong for you and against you, giving you this heat map of how strong is my case or how weak is my case. You can see how much evidence do I have that supports each particular legal issue? You can create case tags that go a long way to help you organize again by a keyword. So you can connect anything to a key tag to then go and take a look at everything that's been connected to that key tag. Now I've turned the camera off to maximize the screen here, but I want to go over the fact that inevitably there'll always be a lull in the case, which is then forcing a review. This becomes incredibly easy with Case Map Cloud because you can go directly to the items you want to review, be it a person or be it an issue or being an organization or being a said document, and you can drill down to see all the evidence that's been connected by way of the fact. Let's go to documents and ignore the fact that, that I've got documents uploaded here. When you're starting off your case, you're going to go to the blue plus here and you're going to go ahead and upload your documents. Once you've uploaded them, they will OCR and index the documents. Fancy way of saying you can grab text right from the document. So pretend we're reviewing this document and we come across this fact that they fired him because he can't do his job. And we're going to go ahead and make that fact. I can give that fact a date and time, and I encourage you to do that. But the summary field is, why am I creating this fact? Why is this important to me or to the case? Then you will see the text that you've selected in the document. And this becomes searchable, so it's very important to have this. It will identify which document it's currently on and created this fact from. Again, that reference later. Now, in case map, you can create additional data fields. These are just some that I've created for fun, but you can start to see that maybe as I'm reviewing these documents, it's raising questions that I may want to ask. I can now link this fact to all of the different pieces, to the different connection points, such as the issues of the case. Now, again, I've got issues created, so I can scroll the list, find the issue. I can start typing to condense my list and grab something quickly. Or if I don't have any, I can go into the create new field, start typing it out and creating it on the fly. And case map allows you to create anything on the fly, even a person or a company, pick it from the list or create it. And here you can see a couple of drop downs of the people or organizations. I can link a sub document. I can link that video that's connected to this or a picture that's connected to this. And again, my tags, being maybe a keyword that I want to connect all of the important data to this keyword. Remember on the dashboard, you saw the heat map. This is where it's coming from. Hey, this fact is strong for me or it's against me and whether it is going to be disputed by us or them, giving you insight, allowing you to see which ones of these facts are going to come up at some point that we need to be uh, a cognizant of and aware of. And now we just go ahead and click save and create our fact and keep reviewing that document. So let's go on a little journey here and let's 
say that I've gone through all my documents and I've created all my particular facts of the case. And now you can see that I have 58 facts. This could be 500, this could be 5,000. But let me orient you a little bit here. Here, each fact is its own card. So you can see the issues, the people, the documents, the tags, the evaluation, the text I grabbed, the custom fields that I've created. Now, distilling these facts is incredibly easy because at this point, I can say, show me all the facts that are negligent. And quickly, I'm down to 15. And show me just the ones that are Kenny Gagne, down to six. And show me the ones that are connected to medical report that I want to review, down to two. Incredibly fast, incredibly easy. I can also keyword search by a particular term. I can't remember. Is it arthroplasty, arthroscopic? I'm just going to go ahead and search with a little Boolean logic. And here I am, arthroplasty. And I'm saying to myself, where did this come from? Well, here's the documents connected to this fact, but here's the source of this particular text. By clicking on this will take me to the document, will take me to the correct page, and will show me the fact that I created six months or a year ago. This is now very helpful and can save the lawyers a ton of time trying to get are trying to find where they made a note of something. Case maps tracking that for you. Now I can scroll the document and maybe I wanna make another fact out of the diagnosis. I can do that and continue building all my chronology of all the different facts in my case. I can go to legal issues and see all the issues that I'm arguing or that I'm trying to navigate, for example. I can go ahead and I can, uh, organize this the way I see fit. I can have, you know, different sort of hierarchy if I want. I can see all the facts connected to each legal issue. I can connect my research. So here out of all my legal research, which ones are connected to each item? And I can quickly get to that point quickly. People in orgs are a listing of all my people. Uh, and again, each one has their little fact card. I can see the facts, I can see tags, I can see documents connected to John Sniffles by way of fact, easy to review. My research can be sent in from Lexis Advanced Quick Law, Lexis Plus, Westlaw, Canly, it really doesn't matter. Uh, out of the competing products you're downloading as a PDF, for example, you're coming into here and clicking the blue plus to upload that research from Lexis Plus or Lexis Advanced Quick Law, it's a couple clicks of a button to send the case into my case map. But however I add it, I can connect it to the legal issues it's pertaining to, to a tag. I can give it a description that's a bit more uh, than this. I can grab quotations from the document. If I go to this example, you can see I've got five different quotations that I've pulled from this particular piece of information. Media, again, is for my audio files, my pictures, my videos. I can upload them. I can draw. I can add text to the pictures. I can do a lot of things with this information, but the most important is linking them to the different facts or the different tags and being able to review that information at great detail. All right, I don't have a lot of time left here, but I do want to show you text map. This is where you can bring in transcript, link exhibits, create facts directly from the transcript itself. As you can see here, I'm going to scroll down. You can, you'll be able to see that I've created an annotation. I can create facts simply by selecting text. And here you can see facts I've already created. And again, it's incredibly easy to navigate to each and every single fact. You can see that I've linked the exhibit and when I click on this, it'll open it up and then I can easily come back to this place in the document. I can search this document. I can search all transcripts. There's really a lot of great functionality that I just don't have time to cover. Time map is that tool that allows me to build a display of all the facts in chronological order. Remember I said entering the date has a purpose and this is the take home. This is a chronology of those events, things that I'm navigating. And we can see my client was laid off here and we've got a couple of medical uh, reports uh, information. I can share this with a client, with co-counsel. Really a lot of functionality here. Another one that I like to show for family lawyers is a split timeline showing where somebody maybe has failed in their duty or in, in uh, picking up the kids or whatever that might look like. Reports is yet another uh, great feature and there's a ton of reports that can be pulled 
to begin a work product such as a document index or maybe a listing of all my research so that I can build a table of authorities. Lots of great functionality here from a report perspective. And to wrap this up, just turn my camera back on here. I'm just beginning to scratch the surface on the capabilities of Case Map Cloud. There are other items I just don't have time to cover. So I encourage you to grab the link to my Calendly, set up a 30 minute meeting so that you can ask questions and we can dive into particular aspects that are important to your practice. Thanks for your time today.